Hello, and welcome to this session on the new outlook for Windows and Copilot. I'm Margie Clinton, Group Product Manager for Microsoft Outlook, and I'm here with Lily Diaz, Principal Product Manager for Time Management, and Thomas Constantine, Senior Product Manager in Outlook. We are so excited that you chose to join us to talk about Outlook and Copilot. Today, I'm going to provide our latest updates on the new Outlook for Windows, then Lily will share what's new in time management, and Thomas will show some Copilot demos. To start, I'd like to share our view of Outlook and our focus areas. First, Outlook is the place where many of us start and go to throughout our day to accomplish our work. It is a place for email, viewing and sharing content like links and files, a place to see and manage your time, and a place for connecting across Microsoft 365 apps. We are committed to bring improvements and new innovation to help increase productivity. A key pillar here is an AI and capabilities through Copilot that we believe can drive huge productivity gains. And in order to better deliver these improvements and innovation, we need to be increasing agility to help address top customer asks for not only new innovation, but also asks for what it takes to manage and support Outlook in your organizations, like the need for consistency and quicker response times. And that's where the new Outlook for Windows comes in. It has been a top feedback from customers that there is a lot of investment needed to administer Outlook, especially when you are supporting Outlook with users across multiple platforms. And the Outlooks are different. Features are available here or there, or introduced at different times or behave differently. When changes are made, either by your organization, updated tooling, needing fixes, or there are updates to Outlook and Windows or other platforms, there is investment needed to make sure those updates and changes are smooth and well-supported in your organizations. We envision one Outlook for every Windows user. The new Outlook will deliver a beautiful experience in a single, robust, flexible, and modern app that brings together the experiences that are currently spread across multiple apps on Windows. A big step for more consistency. So what does the change to new Outlook look like? I'm going to share a very quick overview of our approach utilizing a progressing toggle option with a bit more detail on our approach to the roadmap, timelines, and partnership with customers. We've already made the toggle available in the upper right corner of both Classic Outlook and the Mail and Calendar apps, first as an opt-in preview, which is enabling early adopters to try and give feedback as new Outlook evolves towards readiness for larger audiences. The next stage will be the opt-out toggle, where everyone defaults into the new Outlook and still has the option to go back to Classic Outlook. Eventually, we will assess readiness for cutover, where the toggle option is removed. It is important to call out that readiness is determined by ring and tenant. This is a journey we are taking together. Your feedback and engagement, both as users and as admins, is critical for the assessment of readiness. This is a closer look at the sequence and timelines. One of the first things to note in this discussion is focused on the classic Outlook toggle experience. The approach and timelines are different for mail and calendar apps in Windows. I expect many of you have seen that the new Outlook is now available in Windows, and we've started the opt-out experience in Mail and Calendar. There, we will move through the migration to new Outlook more quickly than our approach for Classic Outlook. For Classic Outlook, there are many more capabilities, expectations, deep habits, and investment for how you manage Outlook in your organization. A top question is, what is the timeline? When are you going to start making this a required change? We will move through the timeline in collaboration with you, assessing the needs and readiness. Currently, the opt-in toggle is available through current channel and SAC preview coming to semi-annual channel in January. We do not have a defined timeline for the next steps. As we talk with customers, some are assessing readiness to migrate their organizations more quickly. For many other customers, there are still remaining capability gaps. Yes, eventually we will move to the default toggle state to opt out. Our commitment is that we will provide at least 12 months notice before the, any change is made in current channel. And eventually we will start to take the next steps of reducing availability of classic Outlook. 
As this timeline indicates, we expect that this will be at least another year. Our ask is that if you haven't already, please start looking at your organization's needs for the new outlook. We want to hear your feedback. Here's a peek at some of the top features we have in our backlog. As we get closer to delivery, we will post updates in the Microsoft 365 roadmap. We are excited to share the continuously improving fundamentals and upgraded experiences in New Outlook. These are some of the top features people are loving in New Outlook. Things like expanded and richer capabilities for all your accounts. The ability to ske schedule send email. So if you are working uh, late in the evening and don't want to impose expectations to others that they need to respond, schedule send for the next morning is a great tool. Pinning and snooze are a few other loved features that allow you to pin important emails to the top of your message list to keep them top of mind. Or you can snooze an email so it is moved out of your inbox until the time you set when you are ready to focus on that email. In new calendar, new layouts make it easier to focus on today and see what's coming up. Next up, Lily will take us through more of the latest updates in time management and how Copilot helps you save time. Thanks, Margie. I'm so excited to share the latest work we've been doing to help you better manage your time, and we're bringing Copilot in to help you even more. Before we dive in, let me set the stage. Flexibility at work is here to stay, with about half of the global workforce back in the office. Flexibility brings other challenges, including digital debt, which builds up in a constant influx of emails, back-to-back -back meetings, and notifications. We're spending almost as much time managing our work as doing it. Let's get into new ways we can help you manage your time more easily. Do you ever decline a meeting invitation only to find that you needed to access the meeting details or the chat? Or do you hold off on responding to a meeting that you know you won't attend because you don't want to lose track of the meeting in case you need it later? If so, you'll love our newest option to save declined events. With this setting, you can decline meetings you aren't attending to set clear expectations with the meeting organizer but still show them on your calendar so you know when the meeting's happening and can forward the invite or open the meeting chat in Teams. Let's see how it works. You're checking your calendar and see a conflict on Tuesday. You aren't needed at the marketing sync and decline it so Katri knows not to expect you. Now the meeting time will show as free on your calendar and you can see clearly that you've declined it. You can still open the invite to see all the details or even change your RSVP later if needed. We're also adding a filter to the calendar so when you want a cleaner view of only what you are planning to attend, you can hide the meetings you've declined. Now, how about a tool to help you prioritize how you spend your valuable time? To try to keep up with a high media load, nearly half of attendees multitask by sending emails or chat messages during meetings. With so many competing priorities, we wanna help you take control of your time by making it easier to participate in meetings asynchronously and allow for meeting organizers to better support you in doing it. Let's take a look. Here you've been invited to a meeting that's relevant for you, but conflicts with another meeting you're already planning to attend. From the meeting invite, you can choose to RSVP with follow. This lets the organizer know that you're interested in the meeting outcome, but won't attend it live. This option is also great to use when you could attend, but your time would be better spent elsewhere. Switching over to your calendar, you can see that you're now following this meeting. When the meeting starts on Teams, the attendees will receive a notification to record the meeting because people, including you, are following it. Once the meeting's over, Copilot will notify you when the meeting recap is ready. You can review the meeting notes and even ask Copilot questions about the meeting, like, are there any action items for me? Or when is the November project plan due? Follow and Copilot help you stay on top of things without needing to be in every meeting. But sometimes you really do need to meet. Like when your team is emailing back and forth and it's clear that bringing the team together will help get everyone on the same page more quickly. Copilot can help you effortlessly shift the conversation from an email thread to a meeting invite. Copilot brings over key details from the email like the attendees and relevant documents, with time suggestions for when this group can get together. Even more powerful is the draft agenda Copilot creates and the helpful summary of the conversation so far. You can edit the draft if needed, 
and then you're ready to send the invite so the team can move forward. With so many of us in back-to-back -back meetings, it can be a real struggle to stay on top of pre-reads, action items, and even what each meeting is about. Copilot can identify and summarize the key points so that you can show up prepared in just a few minutes. Let's say you're catching up on your email and you notice you have a meeting starting soon. You click on the new Prepare button to view the meeting details. Leveraging the power of the Microsoft Graph, Copilot summarizes the meeting objective and delivers personalized action items to help you focus on what matters most before the meeting. Copilot also gives a brief summary of any pre-reads and related documents. Now you have all the most important details you need and can arrive prepared and ready to engage in a productive meeting. In a work environment where we are constantly bombarded with emails, meetings, and instant messages, Outlook and Copilot can help you manage your time more effectively. To share more about how you can stay on top of your inbox, Thomas will be demoing some additional Copilot features you'll find in Outlook. Thank you, Lily. It feels great to be demoing our most innovative AI features in Outlook. As you heard, Copilot and Outlook can help you stay on top of your inbox and save time with features that help you draft a message, coach you with recommendations on how to write better, and summarize email conversations for you that can quickly extract key information. These features are available on the new Outlook for Windows, Web, Mac, Mobile, and coming soon to the classic Outlook for Windows. Let's start with helping you create a message. I'd like to send an email to congratulate the team on a job well done for the latest project. So I'll start a new draft. And right away, Copilot gives me a nudge to use the Draft with Copilot feature. I can also access this by going into the Compose ribbon under the Copilot option. I'll type a prompt of what I'd like my email to communicate and hit Generate to get a fully written email. I actually realized that I forgot to add some key information. So let's go back and add what I was missing. This is great, but a little too direct and doesn't really reflect how I write my emails. So what I can do is change the options for how I'd like this draft to be written. I can choose to change the length of the email and the tone with preset options. I can also select the sound like me option, which uses my past emails that I've sent to these recipients as a reference to figure out my unique style of writing, the way I sign off emails, start them, or words and phrases I frequently use. Let's try that now. That looks way better, but I now want to compare that with the previous outputs. I can quickly check that by using the arrow keys to go between previous outputs. I still like this latest one though, so I'm going to insert it by, into my email by clicking keep. And there we go. With a few clicks and refining, I've used Draft with Copilot to help write my email. Copilot can also help you reply by giving you contextual suggestions for prompts on emails you've received. I can see those when I go to the reply at the bottom of the compose pane. Selecting any of these prompts will generate an output based on that suggestion. And as before, I can use the tools in Draft to tweak my email as I'd like. So that is Draft with Copilot. Next up, Copilot helps me tune my emails based on how my audience might perceive them. Sometimes I think I'm being clear and energetic with my message, only to find out later that I left my teammates confused and lacking the energy I hope to convey. Once I've written a draft, I can get feedback on it by using Coaching by Copilot. Coaching analyzes what you've written for the proper tone, reader sentiment, and clarity, and gives you specific suggestions for how you may rewrite parts of your email to improve those aspects. I can navigate through these using the coaching card that shows up in the Compose pane. I may, I may agree with these suggestions, or not. Ultimately, I have full control over what I send, and Copilot is my helper. Copilot can also proactively nudge me when I may want to receive coaching on mails that seem longer and more important where you really want to strike the right balance and get your message across. And finally, Copilot can help you understand and deal with email conversations quickly using the Summary by Copilot feature. We've all been inundated with emails at times, spending countless hours going through each one to figure out what the key points are. And that gets harder when conversations become longer with multiple people on the thread. Summary by Copilot is meant to give you these key points so at a glance, you can see what's most important. Look for the summary card at the top of an email conversation and click it to request one. And there we are. The key points of this email thread are neatly laid out. I can verify that this information is accurate 
and find out more by clicking on the citation buttons at the end of each key point. This will scroll me to the position in the mail where the key point resides. Summary will also highlight who specifically said what in a conversation. I can hover or click on that person to open the people card and find out more information and other possible interactions I can take with that person. I can keep the summary visible as a high-level recap of my email as I scroll through and read more. Or if I'm done with the summary, I can click on the top of the card again to close it. Lastly, if I really don't need the summary right now and it's taking up space, I can remove it altogether by clicking the X. And those are some ways in which Copilot can help you stay on top of your inbox with three features, draft, coaching, and summary to help you efficiently write understand, and optimize your messages. Our journey with the new Outlook for Windows and Copilot and Outlook is just starting, and we are focusing on delivering more innovative experiences to help you and your organization achieve more and find new ways to grow. We improve and innovate for you. Your feedback, ideas, and collaboration help us shape Outlook to better serve you. So please, keep your feedback coming. Thank you.